In 10 minutes, I'm gonna show you guys how you can add sweet animations to your Vue.js apps. Let's get into it. Just gonna go ahead and paste this in. This is just a new blank Vite Vue TS application. CD in there and yarn add, we're gonna do view use slash motion. So let's get the library installed. Uh, while that's installing, let's go ahead and add support for it in the application. So let's open up main TS and we'll add uh what's it use slash motion and i believe it's the create plugin what do they say here motion plugin so motion plugin here and we'll go ahead and just use this on our view app and that should be good uh, let's go ahead and run the yarn let's change this to fetching an object and let's see where we're at. Cool, so we have our new app here. And let's go ahead and get rid of all the boilerplate. Check in the Vue.js, what's this? And we'll just clear this out. And add our header tag, so Vue.js. And you use motion. Okay, cool. So first things first, now that we have the app set up, let me show you guys kind of what exactly we'll be creating. So this is my personal website, uh, my blog, and you can see I'm, I'm using view motion here. I've got these cool floating effects um, on these card components uh, that show off kind of what I'm building. Um, this is really cool, right? So you can see they're just floating here on repeat. And if we continue to scroll, you'll see that every blog will actually fade in when it's time for them to, right? So when when they're in the uh, the, the view, they'll go ahead and scroll in. So that's pretty cool. Um, and if we look closer here, you can see that every button is actually glowing with their kind of theme color, right? So that's kind of cool. And that's some of the effects we'll be looking into today. So uh, first things first, um, the easiest way to get set up with you use motion is to use their presets. Just go ahead and create a tag here for their presets. Um, this will be presets and let's just paste this in. And this div will fade in. So as you can see here, we added about two, three lines of code and on refresh here, um, this div is fading in. So that's really cool. Um, they have a bunch of presets uh, for you to get with to get started with super quickly. Um, let's go ahead and try a couple more. So we'll use this roll left. This div will roll left. And this is gonna look kind of wonky because it's just a div, but you can see it's kind of, you know, rolling in. Um, some of the more, I think, slicker ones are the, the pops are pretty good, but the slides, the slides are really, I think, pretty common and pretty good looking. So let's go ahead and do a slide. We'll do a slide left. Yeah, that looks good. Just get a slide left, throw that in here. Fix the closing div. This div will slide left. So you can see, nice and clean, it's gonna slide left. And, you know, you can imagine this on, on your own site. You know, you want these to, to fade in, uh, to draw attention to them, or just to make the site look clean. Um, you know, these are pretty cool. So those are presets, they have a bunch of those. The problem with presets is that, you know, they're all opinionated, they're all kind of finished. Um, but Viewmotion, of course, lets you customize the crap out of your own. So let's go ahead and look at an example of a custom motion. So let me just copy this, create a new H tag, custom motions, and we'll just paste this div in and give it some content. This is a custom animation. Cool, so you can see um, we have these uh, properties here, um, or HTML attributes rather, so uh, initial and enter, and these are called variants in the motion world. So they basically specify what the style should be uh, during a specific state, right? So um, initial is where we start, and enter is where we go after the component has entered the view, right? So this is taking Y100, which is gonna be below its native position, and then we're gonna to go to zero, and it's gonna take the opacity from zero and go to opacity one, right? So if we refresh on this, zoom in a little bit, 
we refresh on this, you can see that happens. Comes from the bottom, bottom up, and fades in. So that's really cool, right? So we could tweak this. Um, we can make this 200, so it will come in from the bottom further. Um, and we can even do more with this, right? So they have this idea of transitions, and we can add a duration here. And we can do things like, um, yeah, we can modify the easing. But let's just go with, ahead with transitions first. So um, that's that. So what did I do wrong here? Why are we getting a complaint? Transition. Yeah, it's just transition. And now you can see I bumped the transition to transition duration to two seconds. And now it's going to take its sweet time from in the view. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, but you can imagine uh, as you're stacking up all your motions and your um, you know animations, you don't want to just toss them all in the div like this. So um, the pattern I've been using is to create a new file called motions. And then we can go ahead and export uh, you know um, motion fade up. So essentially what you do is you can create your own module with all of these uh, different motions. And let me just go ahead and style this initial uh, or format this. Let's see, okay, cool. So that looks good. And then what you can do is set this equal to um, motion fade up, right? And then we can import this at the top. Motions, motion fade up. And as you can see, we now have this reusable module uh, to you know set up all of our animations. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's dive into some of the motions I use for my site and some of the motions that you know you can use. Um, so let's go ahead and look at uh, glow text, right? So kind of same idea. Let's create a P tag. This text will glow. And let's go ahead and set up a V motion here. Uh, motion glow text. So let's go ahead and set this up. We'll just export a new motion glow text. We'll copy all this code here, paste, and then we'll set up um, the rules. So a couple things we'll need here. We'll want uh, text, uh, yep, text shadow. Uh, thank you, Copilot. And that'll just go ahead and start us out at zero. I'll go ahead and move this to one pixel and then I'll make the duration half a second. And then we'll need Text shadow here. Let's go ahead and bump this up to 10, make it more obvious, and we'll make this glow uh, a green color. Let's go ahead and set that there. A couple additional transition properties. We want, um, what's it called? Repeat infinity. So it's going to keep running. And then repeat type. I want it to reverse. So that means when it gets to the end, it's going to reverse its animation so we can get that cool glow effect. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. See if we get our glow. Mess something up. Let's see what I did. Uh, I just need to import, of course. Cool, so as you can see, we have glowing text. Um, it's moving kind of quickly, so I'm gonna drop it down from 500 to uh, one second. And so that's pretty awesome. So we have glowing text there. And let's go ahead and create a couple more. So there's glow text, let's do a, a button glow. And you know, for button, we'll just change this to box shadow. And everything else should be about the same. So let's go ahead and copy this. Uh, we'll do button glow and you know, drop a button in and the motion equals motion button glow. Cool. And of course we got to import and let's see what we get there. Okay. Of course we want some content in here. Click me. And as you can see, we have button glow. So that's really cool. Let's go ahead and do one more before we run out of time here. We'll do a, a div shake, div shake. So change this to motion uh, shake. Um, I'm shaking. I'll change this to a div. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get the import. And let's quickly code up a shake. So motion shake. Let's copy. We'll copy our first one here and paste that in. And what do we need here? Let's go ahead and just do like an X zero and then we'll do an x 10 and then we'll copy in our transition because we do want it to loop and we'll do a little shorter time frame here and let's see how this looks 
Cool, so you can see that div's shaking a little bit. We're out of time here. Um, but I think you get the general idea, right? Super customizable, really quick. Um, and the way I have this set up, you can quickly create objects and export. So yeah, that was a quick tutorial for you guys on ViewU's uh, motion, super cool Vue.js uh, animation library.